Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Biller here today. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover a really basic function in Ableton called copy value to siblings that are, a lot of people seem to overlook whenever I collaborate with people in Ableton and I show them this, they're always kind of amazed by it and how much time it could have saved them in the past or whatever. So anyway, um, I have a drum rack here and what I'm going to do is create a MIDI clip. And then in this drum rack, I'm going to drop a few samples. So I'll just drop some things to keep basic time. So that would be like a hi-hat. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I'll just drop any hi-hat. Um, and then an open hi-hat. That'll do. Um, then I need to find a kick drum. So I have a folder full of kicks here. Um, I'll just drop any kick drum in. That one will do. And then a snare. Um, I'll drop this amen snare in there. And then I'm just going to write a quick beat. So we'll go kick, snare, Oops, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. That'll do. And then I'll just create a simple hi-hat pattern. And then some offbeat hi-hats. So just a really simple beat. Um, now if I want to, actually I'll add in a couple more hi-hats. I'll, I'll add in, say this, uh, whoops, get rid of that. Um, now if I want to say affect every single drum with velocity control I'd have to go into these uh, individual simplers in the drum rack and change the velocity and volume controls uh, so if I change that velocity and then turn the volume down and then the same on this electro kick turn up the velocity turn the volume down and if you have like a uh, hundred samples in your rack this can be really time consuming so instead what you do instead of going to every one and changing the velocity and the volume you can just change it on one and if you want it to be a global change you can right click and you can go copy value to siblings and now we can see on these two the velocity has changed and the volume is at negative 12 on these two samples but if we go to the kick sample and we change the volume and go copy value to siblings we can see now that it's changed it on these two and now if we go in here um, everything will be affected by velocity um, so if we just do some quick velocity changes, the way I'm doing these velocity changes is by holding command and just drawing a line like this. So we get something like this. Anyway, you get the point. Um, it's not really something that sounds good, but it's just more of a functional control. So you can uh, quickly change any parameter in uh, these simplers and uh, apply it to anything. So if I want to pitch all the drums up, I can just turn the transpose control up by whatever amount and then right click and copy value to siblings then we get this and you can mess with the sustain and decay and stuff so they're really short something like that now if we want to turn the volume up of all of them just turn it up on one copy value so yeah basically it's just a quick way to change the value of um, all of your samples at once another fun one is messing with loop length if we turn loop on and mess with the length, maybe make it a bit shorter. Might have to turn the sustain back up. Yes, yeah, so you get something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, if you have any questions, send me an email at mrbill at mrbillstunes.com. Cheers.